Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Before we get started, we wanted to remind you that all proceeds from our channel are donated to charity. Please help us help others by giving us a thumbs up, commenting, or subscribing to our channel. Your support makes a difference. And if you don't believe that we donate to charity, check out the fund that we contribute to that was donated to the Navy SEAL Foundation in January of 2024. Now that we're back on dry land, we wanted to go over one of our favorite spots on board the Sun Princess. At the request of one of our followers, we decided to give you a quick tour and answer your questions about the Lotus Spa, the Enclave, and the Salon on the new Sun Princess. Now this is always an area of mystery on board any ship. So we'll give you a tour, show you the prices, give you tips and answer your questions. So let's get to it. We're going to work our way from the bottom of the ship toward the top because the spa and salon and the enclave are located on three different levels. Now we know we keep saying this, but again, this is just like P&O's Arvia that we went on its inaugural cruise a little over a year ago, and they must have had similar designers. The treatment rooms for the Lotus Spa are located midship on Deck 5 with the Thermal Sweeter Enclave located upstairs on Deck 6. The opening hours of all Lotus Spa and Salon locations are from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. daily. On Deck 5 in the center is a relaxation area with men's and ladies changing areas directly forward to that. There are dozens of treatment rooms here for couples or solo treatments like massages, facials, acupuncture, fillers, disport, and body wraps as well. Once you head upstairs, you'll find the main check-in desk. So if you have a spa treatment, check in here on deck six. The thermal suite known as the Enclave is here on deck six. This is an exclusive area with the central focus being the heated stone loungers. There are eight arranged in a crescent formation with a hydration station situated directly across from them. And behind them is another star of the show, the hydrotherapy pool with above water and underwater jets. Now the underwater jets weren't functioning during our cruise, but we've heard since then that they've been fixed. And in the hydrotherapy pool, you'll find underwater seating and lounges. If you've so you never been on a Viking Ocean cruise, this really makes us think of the thermal suite that is included with your fare on Viking Ocean cruises. And that's one of our favorite features of going on any Viking Ocean cruise. But back to the Sun Princess. Flanking the hydrotherapy pool are other features. On the right is a dry sauna, followed by a Himalayan salt room. And this is a new thing for Princess, and the only Himalayan salt room that you'll find in the entire fleet is now on the Sun Princess, and eventually probably the Star Princess. And on the other side are a bank of sensory showers where you can choose from four different experiences, tropical rain, cold mist, rain shower, or Siberian showers, which also include dynamic mood lighting and aromas to enrich the experience. And then even farther to the left of the pool is a steam room. The salon is located way up on deck 18 across from the fitness center. And unlike the spa, the salon has views. Although most are really of sun loungers. Here you'll find a barber, teeth whitening, lashes, and makeup on one side. And on the other side, you'll find nails and hair. Products are by Elemis and Kerastas. And this is a new one. We've never seen IV therapy on board any cruise ship, but the Sun Princess offers it, as you can see here. Now, here is a menu and price list from our cruise. And we think that these prices are comparable to other cruises or hotel spas that we've been to in the past. Now, while we're on price, this is a good opportunity to start getting to some of your questions. The first thing we got asked is, what is the price for the thermal suite? 
Well, that's really not an easy answer. You can pre-book the thermal suite for the entire duration of your cruise before you leave using your cruise personalizer online or on the app. And you'll have unlimited access to the thermal suite or enclave every day from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. and you can come and go as you please. The price is dynamic and can change with every cruise, so we cannot promise you a price. Currently, the price seems to be somewhere between $20 to $30 per passenger per day, and you do not have to book for the entire cruise stateroom as you would with a princess package. And this is the price to pre-book the thermal suite for the entire cruise. The next question is, whether the thermal suite is included with signature collection suites? And the answer is no. You do get benefits like guaranteed access to the signature sun deck in the sanctuary, but not guaranteed access to the enclave. Another question is, is the thermal suite included with a spa treatment? And the answer is no. While you're encouraged to come early and relax in the thermal suite, it is an additional charge. And again, since pricing is dynamic and based on demand, we cannot tell you what the additional charge is. We asked and could not get an answer. Another question is, can you buy a day pass? Now we specifically asked this question with a few days left of our cruise. And we were told that single day passes for the thermal spa are not sold for sea days and only for port days. A day pass for the day we asked, which was a port day, would have been $49 on our cruise. From that day to the end of the cruise was a, quote, special of $149 for the three days left, and that included a sea day. So that would have been the only way for us to use the thermal suite on a sea day at the end of our cruise. Another question is, is there a gratuity? And yes, 18% gratuities are added to all treatment bills, and there is not a gratuity associated with the use of the thermal suite. You can tip extra if you wish, of course. Another question is, do Captain Circle members get any discount? Platinum and Elite members get 10% off Lotus Spa treatments, and if you don't get it, make sure that you ask for it. We were also asked, are there any specials? Yes, and you should look for them. Usually the specials are on spa services and we didn't see any specials for Enclave access. Here are some examples of specials offered on our cruise. First, if you booked on day one and you selected three services, they were discounted 10%, 20%, and 30% respectively. Our tip here is that you select the priciest service for your third treatment so you get 30% off that one. Another special was that if you booked and got a massage on embarkation day, they added 25 minutes for the price of the shorter treatment. For example, if you bought a 50 minute aroma stone massage, you got 75 minutes. And then not on any specific list, but there were always discounted facial and massage treatments on port days. Always look for these and they usually come as a little slip of paper dropped inside your patter or in all the paperwork that is left at your door. They also advertise other specials during the cruise or make sure that you ask for specials at the front desk as well. Another question is, is the spa co-ed? Yes, the spa, salon, and enclave are all co-ed and we were told that there were no plans for single sex hours as we have seen on other cruises. Here's another question that we always love to talk about. Are there bed hogs? We could not find out the capacity of the enclave, but usually enclaves have a capacity of around 20 to 25 passengers on other princess ships and definitely space is limited. That being said, of course, there are chair hogs. We saw individuals reserving the warm stone chairs with towels and robes, unfortunately, and reading there for prolonged periods of time. By the way, to all you chair hogs, there are plenty of hooks around for your robe and towels. But this gives us a great opportunity to bring up that the Lotus Spa actually needs to add some additional seating in the enclave. The heated stone chairs get uncomfortable after a little while, and really there are only some additional upright chairs in the enclave. Some cushion loungers around the hydro pool like in the sanctuary would really be nice. The last question is, do the spa employees try to upsell you? Yes, of course, and they will offer you the opportunity to buy products. And this is really a tip. We always wait until we're home to buy products for many reasons, 
The least of which is that we don't want to lug around a lot of stuff on vacation. It is nice to know the products are there if you forget any luxury hair or skin products at home. Plus at home, at least in the U.S., you can find some Elemis and Kerastase products, for example, at a discount on places like eBay or Amazon. Also, every product used in the Lotus Spa can be found at a website called timetospa.com and discounts are occasionally available there. So to sum it all up, the Lotus Spa and Enclave are a little bit different on board the Sun Princess compared to the Royal Class ships that most of you seasoned Princess cruisers may On the may Sun, it is multi-level on three decks spaced far apart. It will seem very similar to what you may have seen on other Princess ships with a few new things like a Himalayan salt room. Our recommendation is that if you think you want to have access to the thermal suite, buy it for the whole cruise ahead of time on your cruise personalizer or on the app. You'll have guaranteed space that way and possibly spend less because the availability of day passes is really a mystery at this time. And for our cruise, they were over double the price for a port day. Well, that sums up our tour and answering your burning questions about the Lotus Spa, the Salon, and the Enclave. And we really hope that you're enjoying our review of the Sun Princess. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button because all proceeds from our channel are donated to charity. And if you have any comments about this video or have any other burning questions, please put them in the comments below. Always remember to make meaningful and healthy travel happen, and we'll see you next time.